everyone, it's Mitzi and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I lang tong everyday natural makeup routine. You can wear this every day whenever you go to work or whenever you go to school. But ako personally, hindi ako nagmi makeup whenever I go to school. Nagdilip and chicken lang ako. But whenever I feel like wearing makeup, this is the makeup that I usually go for. Go for or go to? <laughs> Ewan. This is very easy and simple. Lahat ng makeup na ginamit ko, very accessible. And ilalagay ko na rin sila sa description box for your reference. Yon, hindi ko na patatagalin pa. If you wanna see how I made this look, then please continue watching. Okay, so I usually start with a moisturizer. And what I usually use is the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. It's both for the face and for the body. And gustong gusto ko to kasi kapag palagi ko eh usa kapag palagi ko tong ginagamit parang ang healthy tingnan ng skin ko parang ang glowy pero kapag hindi ko to ginagamit mukhang maputla mukhang dull mukhang puyat mukhang pagod this is a thick moisturizer so if you have oily skin i don't think you like this one but i have um combination <laughs> but i have combination skin Okay naman siya sa akin. Yun nga lang, during the day, I only apply a small amount kasi kahit naman maulan ngayon, sometimes it tends to get very hot. At kapag nadamihan mo yung lotion or yung moisturizer, medyo malakit siya sa feeling. Kapag gabi naman, dun ko na dinadamihan yung application ko. But during summer, I don't like using this one kasi iba yung init kapag summer. Eh, maalinsangin yung panahon. Saka sobrang tirik na tirik yung araw. Malakit ito sa feeling. So... Nagahanap din ako ng moisturizer na mas lightweight. But this is very nice. Nagdagan ko lang ng konti. The next thing that I apply is sunscreen. Actually, ngayon na lang ako nagsa-sunscreen kasi dati lahat ng nabibili kong sunscreen may white cast. Eh, ayoko nun. Until I watched Ray Hermar's Watson's Hall, doon pinakita niya to. Wait lang. This is the Face Republic Super Sunscreen Sun Gel. Ayan. Um, yung sample size lang yung binili ko kasi I want to try it first before purchasing the full-sized tube. This is 20 pesos, by the way, and it has 2 ml of product. Ayan, nakalagay. Pero yung full-size na tube, 499 ata. Ayun. I love this kasi first, it doesn't leave any white cast. Kaya, as if walang nakalagay sa skin mo. Pangalawa, this is very lightweight. Though it's a bit tacky upon application, but once it sets, it feels very smooth. And hindi na siya sticky at all. But the best thing that I love about this one is that it leaves your skin glowy. It makes your skin very luminous. Pero yung glow na binibigay niya, hindi yung mukhang oily. Yung, yung glow na pang glass skin, ganon. Dati, yung hindi ko pag na-discover to, naglalagay ako ng maraming Cetaphil na moisturizer kasi... This also makes your skin glow. Yun nga lang, kapag nadamihan ko, sobrang tacky na siya sa feeling. Ngayon, na-discover ko na tong Face Republic na Sun Gel. Kundi na lang nilalagay kong Cetaphil. At ito, kahit damihan ko yung sunscreen, hindi malagkit sa feeling. And it leaves your skin glowy throughout the day. Usong-uso pa naman ngayon yung glass skin. There. As you can see, very luminous, very glowy na yung skin ko tingnan. Wait, gusto ko pang dagdagan. Gusto ko maglagay ng konti dito sa cheekbone lang. Para highlight na din. Kasi on an everyday basis or an, on a casual basis, I don't like wearing highlighter. Ah, halata kaya. Hello, boss na! Kailangan ko na bumili ng full size. Mahal kasi. Kailangan din eh. Mmm. Back. Glass skin. Baka mo. 
Now let's move on to concealer. If you prefer wearing foundation, okay lang yon. Pero ako, personally, I don't wear foundation. Ang ginagamit ko lang concealer kasi gusto ko lang naman takpan yung mga dark under eyes circles ko, yung mga spots ko. Yun lang. And as of the moment, I am in love with the L'Oreal True Match the one concealer this is very lightweight and i'm in the shade three golden beige ewan ko kung makikita <laughs> so lalagyan ko lang yung under eyes ko pati yung mga spots ko ay dami yan isaysahin ko yung mga spots ko sa forehead because I have forehead acne. Though I have forehead acne, hindi ko nilalagay niyo buong forehead ko kasi oo, natatakpan niya yung redness, natatakpan yung spots, pero lalo lang na-accentuate yung texture. Kaya ang pangit tingnan. So, hinihinayaan ko na lang na ganyan yung forehead ko. I'm gonna blend it using the microfiber blending sponge. I've made a review about this one. If you guys want to check it out, I'll link it somewhere here or here. Di ako sigurado. But first, I'm gonna squeeze it kasi dun sa review ko, sinabi ko na after a few minutes, it gets dry. At kapag dry, hindi maganda yung application. So, you have to squeeze it from time to time to make the sponge wet again. Kasi parang naa-absorb or nagsisink yung water eh. Nga pala, the concealer that I use only gives sheer to medium coverage. Pero para sa akin, okay lang yun. Kasi, if you're aiming for a natural look, your goal is to enhance your skin. Your goal is just to reduce your flaws, not to completely remove them. Kaya kapag full coverage concealer, masyado nang halata na may nakapatong na makeup. Eh, Ako pa naman, if I wear makeup, I want to be as minimal as possible. Gusto ko as if walang nakalagay na makeup sa skin ko. Kaya, ayun. Isiset ko naman yung face ko using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette and ito yung gagamitin ko. Konting powder lang yung nilalagay ko kasi ayaw kong matanggal yung yung dewy-ness ng skin ko. Dewy-ness? May word ba na? Hindi ko pala nabibilan ito. Okay na yan. After that, I proceed with the brows and my newest discovery. Well, actually, hindi siya pagong discovery kasi matagal ko na itong nakikita sa Miniso pero ngayon ko lang itong binili. But anyway, it's the Miniso Automatic Eyebrow Pencil in Dark Coffee. 99 pesos lang to and sobrang ganda niya. Yung shade niya, it's the perfect brown shade that suits my hair color. Wait lang, I'll show you. Yan. Ito siya. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. Tamang-tama lang. Tapos manipis pa yung pinaka-pencil niya. Ayan. And it comes with a spoolie. Ito ang pinaka-crucial part ng makeup ko. Hirap na hirap ako magpantay ng kilay. just me, you wait lang, ha? So, what I usually do, nilalign ko lang yung bottom part ng eyebrows ko and then I blend it upwards. And then, I set it with a brow gel, pero wala dito. Mamaya na nga lang.
this is the best that I can achieve. So, <laughs> magtatsaga na natin yan. And then, I'll blend it upwards. Set my brows, I use the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. There. Ito pa lang yung natatry ko na brow mascara, so hindi ko masasabi kung sulit ba siya. Pero, nasaset naman niya ng maayos yung brows ko, and kapag nagset siya, hindi rin siya matigas. May difference talaga pag naglalagay ng eyebrow mascara, kasi bukod sa natatame mo yung brows mo, it makes your brows look fuller and thicker. Ngayon naman, let's proceed to the cheeks and what I use is the Caroline Lip and Cheek Tint in the shade Berry Red. There. Actually, hindi talaga ito yung bet kong gamitin. Ang gustong gusto ko talaga yung Vice Cosmetics. Yung lightest shade nila. Hindi ko na kasi maalala yung shade na ginagamit ko. Pero nawala ko. Eh, hindi pa sila nag stock So, naghanap ako ng alternative at nakita ko tong Caroline kasi parang similar yung shade niya sa Vice Cosmetics na ginagamit ko. But then, nung ginamit ko na siya, hindi ko siya nagustuhan kasi first yung amoy, amoy ball pen. Kung naalala niyo yung ginawan ko na review na Lip and Chic Tint ng Body Expert, yung 59 pesos lang, ganun yung amoy niya, ganun din yung lasa niya. Yung consistency din niya, very similar doon, kaya hindi ko siya bet. Yung amoy niya hindi mapagkakatiwala. <laughs> Once na mag-restock na si Vice Cosmetics yun, hindi ko, to, hindi ko na ito gagamitin. Pinagchachagaan ko lang talaga kasi dahil sa shade. Kasi itong shade na to looks very natural sa akin. Ang baho talaga. Wait lang. Akonti-konti lang yung nagay ko. Kasi ayoko na masyadong mapula sa cheeks. So, kung mapapansin nyo, iba na yung setup ko ngayon. That is because I accidentally deleted the last clip of this video. Kung kailan ba naman patapos na ako mag-edit, saka ako siya mabubura. Pero wala na akong choice. I have to refilm this because hindi ko na siya ma-retrieve. So, let's move on. So, the next thing that I'm gonna apply is mascara. And let's first curl my lashes. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Waterproof Mascara. Pag nagmamascara ako, I usually scrape off the product kasi gusto ko manipis lang yung malagay sa lashes ko. Gusto ko lang naman ng konting lift and konting enhancement sa lashes. Contento na ako dyan. Now, for the last part, for the lips, gagamitin ko rin itong Caroline Lip and Cheek Tint. Ayan, kaya ako gustong gusto yung gantong color kasi kung mapapansin nyo, hindi nagkakalayo yung kulay ng cheek or ng lip tint sa kulay ng lips ko. Hindi siya gaano matingkad. Kaya parang my lips but better lang. Very natural lang tingnan. Yeah! 
usually at this point, tapos na ako sa makeup ko. Pero I'm feeling a little extra today, so maglalagay pa tayo ng konting color sa lips. And for that, I'm gonna be using the Ever Belena Lip and Cheek Roller in the shade Toast of New York. Yan. And ilalagay ko lang siya sa inner part ng lips ko. Konting konti lang. Para lang may konting dimension yung lips ko. So this is the final look. This is my everyday no makeup makeup look in so, I, natural. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye!